Element definition documents are easier to work with than ever before. Once initialized, you can customize the DITA used by FrameMaker by building your own shell or backing up and restoring customizations. Let's make the task a bit easier to work with. Currently, the command has many attributes to choose from. On the right side of the screen, the Elements catalog also has many elements for an author to choose from. Custom shells automatically create an EDD and template, which you can later customize. This gives you a jump start to when you need to build applications and reduces your learning curve. You can customize topics, maps, or learning environments. Let's create a more restricted task. In the first step, we can configure modules, nesting, domains, and attributes. Notice only the user interface domains and the profiling attributes are available. In the second step, the default CSS is created. If you edit the style sheet, you can customize the font properties of any title. For example, you can give a section title a specific font size or use a paragraph format tag for your figure title that exists inside your FrameMaker template. You can even create banner text to appear to help your author with anything they decide to do. The last step is to create a template. FrameMaker does this automatically based on the rules you specified in Step 1 and format specifications created in Step 2. The second customized shell has been created. You can further customize the environment by changing the EDD or the template. This is simpler to do, as behind the scenes, FrameMaker automatically created an initial EDD. Inside this, the general rule is simplified from the default in DITA. Additionally, many attributes have control flags to hide them from users. This environment simplifies the attributes that authors see and have to work with. It also gives us a list of elements that is far simpler and easier to manage. This allows authors to get started quickly with DITA by using a subset in which you can hide attributes, restrict which elements are shown, and makes it simple for Adobe FrameMaker 2019 to give anyone a jump start into working with DITA. For a personalized demo, or if you have any questions, please write to us. Our email address is techcom at adobe.com.